Hello everyone, how are you? Here they know what happened on Friday Night Smackdown main event for June the 16th, 2023. Main event. Natalia took on Tegan Knox. Now somebody rummaged for someone else's wardrobe backstage. Because they had matching carters, matching attires. They could be getting out of tag team, like my friend Chris Coach or me was saying. Um, Tegan man whooped Natalia's ass. Like my whole stomps in the corner. Pat her on the head. My whole stomps on the bar and the ropes. Friggin' repeated face plant slams to the mat. Friggin' like hit scissors into outer submission. Find Natalia got free. Hit a scoop slam, clothesline, German suplex. Um, Tegan, and then she pinned her, and then let go. So Tegan Ox to roll over and get a two count. Like, what the heck? Tegan Ox went for the shittiest wizard ever. And Natalia moved out of the way, applied the sharpshooter for the submission win. The other match I may have been is must-see, folks. The other match was okay, but this one's must-see. Apollo Crews against Reddick Moss in my ringside. Reddick Moss kept getting the speed going, right? And freaking just drilled Apollo Crews one hell of a running shoulder tackle. Then Apollo Crews started fighting back. Emma grabbed a hold of his foot and caused a distraction. I allowed her man to deliver a clothesline. Then a sidewalk slam type of move. Um, just beat up on Apollo. Apollo finally got some offense going. After Reddick Moss would pick him up and just put him down the mat. Pick him up, put him down the mat. Paul Cruz hit a top rope cross body. Then started hitting some forearms. Insecurity kick. Angle slam for the one, two, three. That was a cool sequence of moves Apollo did to get the win. That was cool. Now on to SmackDown. SmackDown, the opening match was the Gauntlet match for the number one contendership for the tag team titles against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, which they announced would be in two weeks um, before they go to Money in the Bank pay per view. I was watching the Flash movie with my good friend Jody Graves and um, my cousin Jennifer's son Gregory. Good movie. Check it out. There's some comedy. There's some action and all that. And there's um, a scene with Aquaman that's just hilarious when he's drunk. That's all I'm saying. Now, the Gauntlet the match. I didn't see how the match went, but um, my mom wrote down who won it and all that. Seamus and Rich Holland started off. They beat the Street Profits first, then they beat the OC quickly, then they beat the LWO members, Tokeen Wild and Tolo, then they fought pretty diddly. Um, then um, they almost had that one, but apparently Prince, the blonde-handed one, made the tag. Sheamus didn't see that, and then they did top rope move on Sheamus for the one, two, three. So pretty diddly is going to face Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, two weeks for the tag team titles. Now. Okay, the RS matches of SmackDown suck shit. I'm just saying, they were terrible. Like, AJ Styles, me and him against Karrion Cross and Scarlett in a tag match. Now, Scarlett did a throat chop to me and him. They delivered a type of, like, a Sister Abigail type of move to her. And that was it. AJ Styles got in, quickly hit the Styles Clash on Karrion. Then Scarlett grabbed a hold of his hair to stop the pin and pulled him off. And then she started doing, like, a sexy seduce pose. AJ Styles went, I guess, like, I married you, bitch. That was awesome. Then, um, as me and Yam pulled Scarlet to the outside, this distraction allowed Karrion Cross to apply that sleeper hole, and then a forearm, then like a pump handle slam type of move for the one, two, three. Like, I feel sorry for AJ Styles. I, I don't know if he's got in trouble backstage. I don't know if he said something he shouldn't have said or what, but like, him, right, him feuding with Karrion Cross to me is like a. Punishment for doing something backstage. Maybe he said Vince McMahon. Maybe he went to Vince McMahon and said, hey, Roman sucks. Or maybe he went to Triple H and said, hey, did Roman really need a new title have free belts? Maybe that's what he said and he's got in trouble for it. I don't know. That poor guy, no, he deserves a lot better rivalry and feud worth than Karrion Cross. Let me know below if you think that AJ Styles Karrion Cross is a good feud or I agree with me. That's a terrible feud. All right. EO Sky took on Selena Vega one-on-one -on -one with Bayley and Ringside. Bell rang. Within a few seconds, Bailey EO had miscommunication, distraction, fame. Selena Vega rolled up EO for the one, two, three. Fast match, terrible waste of time put on TV, honestly. After the match backstage, Chelsea said to Bailey, How about you put your money in the bank spot on the line against me? Because apparently she wants the other chance to money in the bank. She lost her chance against EO Sky last week. Eo Sky said Bailey accepts. Bailey's like, hey, whoa, whoa, I didn't accept nothing. So next week on SmackDown, it's going to be Bailey versus Chelsea. If Chelsea beats Bailey, then she gets Bailey's spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. 
Santos Escobar and L.A. Knight was your main event match on SmackDown. Before the match, Rey Mysterio got shoved down by L.A. Knight. Rey Mysterio went for the 619, but L.A. Knight retreated to the outside. Then Rey Mysterio went to the back. Um, out of quick match, Santos Escobar hit some running takedowns off the ropes. A Tilt World backbreaker. Then L.A. Knight rolled him up. And then try to grab the ropes for a rope, like the news to steal the win. And then Central Escobar reversed the roll up and got the free count. It was a fast match. After the match, L.A. Knight was beat up on Central Escobar. Rey Mysterio ran out and made the save. So LWO won two of the free matches they were in this week on SmackDown. That was it for the matches on SmackDown. Jey Uso sided with Jimmy. I was happy. Because at first they were saying like, oh, Jimmy thinks you shouldn't be the next tribal in chief. Jimmy's a guy did say that. And the way Jay was saying, I'm like, yeah, he ain't going to go with Roman. He was just saying that. I just love the super kick Jay give Roman. Roman's like, what the hell? Like, just bam, that super kick. The way Roman looked afterwards. And the double super kick on Roman Reigns was awesome. And then the super kick on Solo Sokoa, Jimmy gave them. I hope I'm in the bank. I hope it's not a tag match. I'd rather like to see Jay versus Roman or Jamie versus Roman for the title. Because Roman... They said that next week, Roman's going to tie the record of Pedro Morales' title run. I'm sick of this. I get it if it's a title run, yes. But like, look at Bruno San Martino, Pedro Morales, CM Punk, uh, Hulk Hogan. Um, A lot of people had a, Goldberg. I was admitted. Goldberg had a raw title run. Yes. But they defended it month after month, week after week. They don't defend it one month, sit your ass home for six months, and then defend it in the game. To me, that should not include a ton of run. You know what I'm getting at, folks? Next week on SmackDown, I also announced Cameron Grimes versus Baron Corbin and Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey against Arla Dawn and Katie Ray, champions versus champions to unify the titles. So whoever wins that match is going to leave with two sets of the Wyndham's Tag Team titles. I think it's going to be either Dawn and Kaylee Ray. I don't think it's going to be Shane and Baszler or Ronda Rousey. Let me know below what you think. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.